Tonight, Arizona charter schools under intense scrutiny after one fourth of those schools are showing signs of significant financial problems. Good evening, I'm Steve Irvin. And I'm Stephanie Hawkridge. Earlier this year, Goodyear School suddenly closed down and it was later revealed its owner accused of mishandling taxpayer money. Lawmakers want to fix issues like this. ABC 15's Cameron Pullum explains with how their new rules may not be enough. When Bradley Cremos Academy here in Goodyear closed down earlier this year, it highlighted the desperate need for clear answers on how tax dollars are being spent. We're finding out new rules found within that massive education budget are both a hit and a miss. The charter board has argued that they don't have the power to close schools for financial reasons. Well, they do now. Dave Wells with the Grand Canyon Institute has spent countless hours digging into Arizona charter schools' financial records, and it doesn't look good. Well, we have over 500 charter schools in the state, and that means about 139 of them um, have failed at least three of the financial measures, such as they're losing money or they have too much debt or they don't have enough uh, cash in reserve. In the past, Arizona State Charter Board officials said they didn't have the authority to close down schools based on poor financial. The legislature has given them that power, uh, so now they can say if a school's not performing financially, they have the ability now to close it. He says at least 41 are currently on the brink of shutting down for those reasons. With Bradley Cremos, our board was very frustrated by that because we saw irregularities, we saw problems. Board Chair Kathy Sensman says once the new rules take effect in August, they'll be ready. We're looking forward to having another tool in the toolbox um, to, to review these schools. But Jim Hall says the law doesn't go far enough. He'd like to see charter schools follow public procurement laws. It's designed to protect the, the public money. He's worried that by being exempt from those laws, charter school owners can siphon public money into their own pockets like we saw at Bradley Cremos. The owner started four companies and sold himself $500,000 worth of stuff. I think as everything evolves, we need to look at those things. I'm Cameron Pullum, ABC 15 Arizona.